Hey there everyone, let's take a look at the Sidewinder, how best to use it and how to be as effective as possible with it in both pilot vs pilot combat and pilot vs titan combat. Let's get started. The Sidewinder deals a set 197 damage with a direct hit versus titans with a crit multiplier of 2x, meaning that as long as you're hitting a red glowing part versus an unshielded titan, you're dealing double damage with each uh, each Sidewinder shot. Now you're also going to be dealing 50 damage versus enemy pilots on direct hits, however there is ex an extremely fast damage drop off over the course of 0.3 meters and starts at 0.02 meters. So you're going to be needing to get direct hits with this weapon or at least be shooting very, 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 very close to an enemy in order to deal any sort of actually damage to enemy pilots. A very important thing to note when firing anti-titan weapons versus titans that have their shields up is that you're not doing 100% damage to their shields. There is some sort of factor at which your damage is actually penetrating their shields and going directly to their hull even when their shields are still active. Um, this also seems to be somewhat related to an enemy titan's hull health overall. Like if they have 100% hull health, you're, you know, you're going to have more damage seeping through their shields than if they have almost no hull health left. So. Um, as to my knowledge, the actual function or formulas that the game actually follows in order to calculate this damage are not yet revealed in any, um, in any shape or form, so it's hard to actually give you a, you know, a set amount, say, so, you know, if they have this much health, this is how much it's going to seep through, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, I'm only going to rate it by saying that, in my personal opinion, the damage seep through, um, versus enemy titan shields is actually very, very good. Uh, I feel very comfortable in using it with enemy titans, you know, even if I'm not getting their shields down, I know I'm still doing respectable damage to their hull, and then I'm able to wear them down fairly quickly with smart play. Speaking of smart play, how best can we actually use the Sidewinder in pilot vs titan combat? Well, you we have to keep in mind that the Sidewinder is not a hit scan weapon, that there is travel time to your actual shots, and in addition to that, they're not terribly accurate. I mean, they're, they are up to, you know, close range, but, you know, there gets to be a point where they start waving and flying in, in complete random directions, and this is essentially a weapon that you need to be using at very close ranges. So with that in mind, uh, we're going to try and be playing with a very, with very much with a parkour kind of style, you know, try and be, try to run around buildings and just do everything within our power to stay close to enemy titans. Since they're able to move much faster than we are, um, we just need to be trying to keep up with them as best as we can, so no better way than to just run along walls, bounce all over the place, try to make yourself a hard target to hit, and be as quick as possible in trying to chase these enemy titans down. Using Stim as your pilot tactical ability is also very, very helpful with this weapon, since stealth is not really our main goal since we're firing a fully automatic anti-titan weapon. It's not like we want to stay hidden, take our one shot, and then, you know, bounce back into cover or something like that with a charge rifle or maybe an archer, depending on how you want to use it. Uh, this is a weapon that you need to be just going in a complete, full-out assault with, so Stim is kind of your only really logical choice. It'll help you to move faster, chase enemy titans more effectively, as well as shrug off damage and live just a little bit longer. One last thing to note is if you do ever find yourself using this weapon versus enemy pilots, be sure to try and fire it from the air or from above them. Don't try to fire it straight at them because you're never going to hit them. Just try and splash them from the air. That's the only way you're going to get any real damage. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new. Please like and subscribe if you're so inclined. If not, that's okay too. And we'll see you next time.